Pilly didn't even say a word, but I could hear lucid dreams on full blast in those earbuds. Man, it's a tough sight to see. Next thing I know, Mr. Principal bursts in the class talking about, All right, Tessa, in my office right now. Now, I don't know why she was in trouble, but whatever she was accused of, she's guilty, bro. And she's also guilty. Before I go back to the video, almost nobody manages to comment chains for real with their eyes closed. On one third degree count of breaking my man's heart. And as I'm busy praying on Tessa's downfall, I get a little tap on my shoulder like, Psst, take this. Mr. Principal's looking for it and he's not going to check you. Wh whose is it? It's Tessa's. Don't worry, it's safe with me. And it was safe with me, cause that shit was now mine. The only way she could get it back is if she repaired my boy Billy's heart and that just wasn't happening. And soon enough, Tessa comes back from Mr. Principal's office and she didn't say a word. We had nut break, nothing. We went to PE, nothing. And then we went to math class. And as I was chilling in math class, calculating the square root of pi and shit, I get a tap on my shoulder again. Psst. 